Hi friends, this is your tech expert Neil and you are watching howisol.com. In today's video, I'll show you how you can fix SCRCPY lag issue. I face this issue quite frequently and I've researched how to fix it in my Fire TV stick. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So the first thing that you should check when you're facing lags while using SCRCPY is that you have got the latest version of the software. So we'll first go to the GitHub page. I'll provide the links down in the video description and over here you can see this is the github page and the latest release as of today while I'm recording this video is version 2.3.1 you can see in the releases section it is over here and it was released on December 2, 2023. Simply go on this and we'll download the latest version depending on your operating system if you're using a windows system with a 64-bit which normally majority of the people use then you can, you can download this SCRCPY win 64 2.3.1 zip over here simply download the zip and when you're updating it make sure you do not overwrite the existing files you should always create a new folder while updating it so this is the zip file that I've downloaded and extracted so these files should be there in the folder so that it can run so once you have confirmed that your version of SCRCPY is the latest version the next thing to check is the system requirements. Make sure that you satisfy all the major system requirements. You can find the system requirements on the GitHub page. We'll again go to the GitHub page and you can see in the, we'll go to the home page, SCRCPY. And if you scroll down, over here you will see the system requirements. You can see for audio forwarding, it requires minimum Android 11. And the minimum Android version is Android 5. You can see over here prerequisites android 5 is the minimum version required for crcpy to run and audio forwarding works from android 11 onwards and you have to ensure that the device has got usb debugging enabled and some of the devices also need some additional options of usb debugging like usb debugging secure settings this option i found in the realme os in some of the older versions of the realme devices this particular feature was there which has to be enabled separately in addition to the usb debugging option so if all these things are fine you can see camera mirroring only works after android 12. if your device meets all these spe device specifications then the next thing to look out for is the connection quality now you can work with SCRCPY via wi-fi and through usb connectivity so i have used SCRCPY in both the ways if you have got a good wi-fi in, uh, connectivity on both the devices that is from the sending side and the receiving side if both the devices have got good wi-fi reception and they are not interfering with each other then even in wi-fi connectivity i found it in the scicpi gives good lag free experience you just have to make sure your wi-fi uh, network is good there should be no interference between the two signals i prefer that one of the device which is either in the receiving or the, on the sending end is connected through lan that way the chances of interference are quite low if you do not have a good wi-fi connectivity on both the devices then the only way to ensure a lag free connection is through using a usb data cable make sure that the usb data cable that you are using is of good quality and uh, there is no loose contacts between the two devices sometimes it happens that the usb cable gets disconnected frequently and that can also be the reason for your scrcb screen lag so good quality connection, good quality USB cable and no loose connections. If, if you have checked all these hardware requirements, then the next step that I'll be talking about will be software fixes. And using this fixer, you should be able to get your SCICPY lag free connection. The first software fix to fix the lag in SCICPY is using two flags. The one flag allows the device to stay awake. It prevents this device to go to sleep and the other flag turns the screen off end so this even if the screen will be off we can get the screen mirroring on our device to do these two things we simply have to pass these two flags so we'll open the command prompt typing cmd and make sure that you are in the same folder in which your scscpy is installed okay i'll be accessing my fire tv stick through wi-fi so to do that we'll type the command scscpy and then we need to pass the IP address. In my case, it is 192.168.1.7. This is the local IP address of the Fire TV stick. And then we have to pass the two flags. And that is 
S and W. The S flag turns the screen off for the uh, device that is in my case Fire TV Stick and the W flag makes sure that the device keeps awake. So this is decreases the processing power required on the device. So the cause of the lag is because of the multiple screens that the device has to show that is while mirroring also it has to show the screen as well as on the device so this will give the some amount of performance boost for the device that might prevent your lag that you might be facing in your SCI CPU recording so we'll hit enter and we'll that we'll see so you can see we'll say it's correcting and you can see in my case it's lagging quite badly so we'll see how we can fix this i'll close this up okay so if this trick did not work then we'll add one more flag first we'll check how much fps we are getting so to record the fps while the screen is being mirrored we just have to pass print fps this will give us a continuous time counter of the fps that is being shown over here you can see it only three five fps is being shown and it yeah, FPS changes when the device screen gets updated, but 5 FPS is very, very low. That's why we'll, we'll get a lot of lag. So let's see how to fix this. Now we know exactly how much lag we are facing. So let's fix this up. One more way of fixing it is using the flag no audio. If your screen mirroring does not require audio transmission at the same time. So in that case, you can disable the audio transmission and that might help you fix your screen lag issue. If the cause is because of the audio transmission I, in my case i want the audio so this flag i'll not be trying but in case if your uh, use case does not require the audio to be transmitted you just require the screen mirror to be recorded without the audio then you can try this flag and check whether it fixes your problem so basically you have to type no audio by the way all the commands all the flags i'll be providing down in the video description so you can easily copy paste it okay so the way i fixed this problem in my fire tv sticks and you can also fix it on your device was using a particular video encoder so what happens is that this your android device from which you'll be mirroring has got different encoders for both audio and video so there are multiple encoders available in each device and sci cpy normally selects the best encoder that is the most efficient one but sometimes it gets the wrong one and when that happens, the screen starts to lag. If that is your case, we'll first list down all the encoders that are available on your particular Android device. So to do that, we'll simply type the command list encoders and we'll hit enter. And you can see over here, there are three video encoders over here it is mentioned. And there are two audio encoders. In my case, what I found was if I use the video codec H64, video encoder with a encoder of omx google h64 encoder this encoder the this fixed the problem the lag and audio codec you can use any of these that is not causing the problem but even if you don't you you might not need to specify the audio codec first try ch checking the video codec so check whether this video codec works simply you have to copy this command over here like this if you want to check whether this video codec works simply copy this hit in select this and hit enter and then when you are trying to stream from this device just paste this command oops i'm double pasted it so by pasting this command it will select the first video encoder which is not the correct one in my case i found that selecting the google h64 encoder in the fire tv stick third gen did the trick so we do this and we'll also enable the fps so that we can see whether it's you can see now it's going above you know, nine maximum was above nine ten you can see over ten also it has gone so it had already is much below 11. you can see where early it was fixed at maximum five now it's going up 10 11 12. if you want to increase further then the next trip will be to reduce the quality of the stream because we are using Wi-Fi connectivity while connecting a SCI CPI wirelessly and without reducing the resolution and the bitrate, we might not get a buttery smooth performance while using SCI CPI. So the next thing to tweak is the bitrate and the resolution. To do that, we have got two parameters. For the maximum screen resolution, I'll pass M and you can type the maximum screen resolution. So it, 
you pass in 1024 depending on the default aspect ratio in my case it is 16 is to 9 so it will be 1024 by 720 and the bitrate is controlled by bit and i'll make it 8 bits 8 mbps that is mbps 8 million bits per second so the default is 16 so i've reduced it to half by doing that you will find that when the screen gets updated there is some pixelation if there's a large amount of screen gets updated then there's more pixelation so we'll be reducing the quality but at the same time that will increase our fps so let's see you can see the screen size is reduced quite a bit we'll go to full screen and it's already working much much smoother but we have reduced the quality of course and we'll check the fps and you can see the fps is again going till maximum is 16 even 20 we have 24 is also there so that is the maximum fps that we can get also one more flag that you can pass is max fps and i usually pass it to 25 because normally 25 fps is a good enough rate for normal screen mirroring and this will force the fps to never exceed this value so this also will improve your performance of course if the video gets updated quite frequently then it will reduce the quality so this also has improved the fps reporting you can see now it's constantly above 10 of course when the screen stops updating then the fps will reduce but it's quite good now compared to from where we started i hope friends you like this video if yes smack that like button if you are still facing the problem in scr cpu or you are having some other issue with scr cpu you can post that down in the comment section and i'll try to help you out and if this video solved your problem make sure to share this video with your friends and family whom you think could benefit from it thanks for watching friends this is neil signing off bye bye thanks for watching